Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try Photograph by Ringo Starr. Uh, I'm going to do it in the key of A. He's actually in B. You could use a capo at the second fret if you want to be in the key. I'm not going to bother with that because I'm not playing with Ringo today. So, Alright, uh, so a bunch of different sections to this one. Uh, the, the intro is just, a, it's just an A chord over and over again, like six times. Uh, my pattern is down, down, up, up, down, up. That's all I'm going to use for my strum. So for the intro, you could just, you know, play an A chord. If you have someone else to play with, they could play the orchestra part. You know, the... So you do that six times. And then... Uh, okay. So that part right there is uh, just the line that goes through, you know, the intro that uh, the strings are playing that you could uh, you could emulate. So uh, let me give you that. That's uh, third string, first fret to the second fret, and then open second, then back to the third string, first fret. Okay. So the next part is again third string, one to two. And then open second, open first. Okay, so together it's. Then you go back to the third string, one, two again. On the second, open two, three, open one. So the all the the <laughs> all together it's. And that whole time, your buddy could be playing an A chord behind you. Um, you could do either part. Uh, I don't. Uh, that that's that's what's going on. So. Okay. When the um, the next part is the chorus. You know, every time I see your face. So uh, let's start right there. It's a D. See your face. It's a G chord to a D. And then an A to an A7, and they just repeat that. D chord, and I read a G chord. D, you're not coming back any A to an A7. I'm going to go right into the verse. F sharp, da da, and then a B minor. F sharp, da 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 da, and then a B minor to an A, and then an A7. You're back to the chorus, D chord, to a G chord, and then a D, and it more is A to an A7, you repeat. All I've got is this photograph, is a D, and he realizes a G, a D, and it more A to an A7. Now it's the saxophone part, so you stay on this D to a G, it's the same chords behind the sax part. Then you're back to the verse, F sharp, B minor, you can't make it without her, <laughs> F sharp, and then a B minor to an A, and then an A7, and then this chorus is a little different, it's a D, to a G, to a D, to an A, to an A7, that part was the same, but this is different, D, and then a G, and then a D, and now they go back down. You're going to stay on an A chord for six times, and while you're doing that, the whole orchestra's going. And then you're just back to D, to a G, to a D, to an A, to the A7. And they just keep repeating this pattern. It's the, um, he keeps singing about, you know, and then A7. Every time I see your face, it reminds me. G to the D. The places he used to go is A to A7. They just keep repeating this over and over again for the end. So, hopefully that was enough for you to catch on. 
Now let's go over the chords. So the chords you're going to need in the song is going to be an A chord, uh, third string, first fret, fourth string, second fret. And that's part of your intro, and it's also in uh, all the other parts. That's an A. You're going to need a D chord. Uh, I'm going to stay on the fourth string, second fret, third string, second fret, second string, second fret, open first string. That's my D chord. Uh, my G chord, third string, second fret, first string, second fret, second string, third fret. Uh, I'm going to need an A7. That's just the third string, first fret. It comes from an A chord, so it's wicked simple. You just lift up off the A. Now the two hard chords you're going to have, you're going to have an F sharp in the verse. You're going to bar, I just bar the top three strings, second string, second fret, fourth string, third fret. That's my F sharp. Okay? And then I need a B minor, I'm going to move my bar up to the second fret and then hook over to the fourth string, um, uh, fourth fret. So it's actually the same, you know, you just lift up your middle finger and move it up a half step. Okay, and then you just move it back again. So you're just moving it back and forth. Okay, so now let's go over the, uh, in more detail, the parts of the song. Okay, so we went over the intro and the interlude, the A with that tapped part. The chorus of the song, the main part of the song, you know, every time I see your face, is a D for two patterns or two measures, whatever you want to call it. So D, so it's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Then you go to your G chord, same thing, but only one pattern. Back to the D for one pattern, and then the A for one pattern, A7 for one pattern. And that's, um, that's the progression, and it repeats. So each time the chorus comes in, it does that twice. So here it is, D, uh, every time I see a D chord, chord to a D and then an A to an A7. Same thing, D for two, G chord and then a D and then the A to the A7. So that's a chorus. Uh, it's also the sax solo. So when the sax is playing its solo, you're playing those chords uh, two times through. All right. Uh, Almost all the choruses are like that. Chorus three, the third time, is a little bit different. All right, um, the verse, uh, the verse is the F sharp for two patterns. Uh, what's the words there? I forget. F sharp for two to a B minor. He can't make it without her. Back to the F sharp for two. Now this time B minor is only one, and then. A for one and then a seven for one so it's a little odd because it's uh, let's see one two three four five six seven it's a nine bar verse usually things are even uh, but uh, this just the way it is so the verse is it and you only go once through this so it's F sharp for two you can't make it without our B minor for two F sharp it's not something that he's looking for B minor for a Seven. That's your verse. Okay? Now uh, let's go over the form of the song. You got intro, then that chorus part, the verse, chorus, sax solo, the verse, then chorus three, which we'll talk about in just a second, then the interlude, which is the same as the intro, and then you just go back to that chorus and they do it three times in a row, um, that progression, um, and, and they just fade out. So they just fade out on it. You just keep doing it over and over again. So the chorus three I found was different. Um, you know, everybody just assumes it's the, the same same exact chorus, but uh, they, they, they put that interlude tagged on to the end of it, so it changed it a little bit. So it's a D for two, G chord to a D, and a more is A to an A7. So that's the same, but then the second time through it's D again for two, G for one, and then D for one, and then at that point, I really think of it more like the orchestra comes in, and even though an A chord is what we would go to, we would normally go to an A to an A7, and then we'd be done with the chorus, but they stay on the A chord, they never go to the A7, they do the A, uh, blah, 
So that's the Okay, so that happens at the same time as that A at the end of the chorus three. So you could think of it like that, or you could think the intro's tagged on, which we're calling an interlude because it's not the intro anymore. Uh, <laughs> tagged on to chorus three. These things are so complicated. Alright, and then you just have the chorus at the end, which is just D twice, G to D, and then A for one, A7, and all he's got is his photograph. He realizes he's not, she's not coming back anymore. And that's it. It just fades out, just keeps doing that over and over again. Alright, thank you Ringo for another great song. Um, he's got a lot of great ones. I always liked him. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hit like if you like it. Play more Ook. <laughs>